what's up guys it was Tim here so I'm here with Digor TV and we're gonna be giving you our top 10 tips and tricks for the Elder Scrolls Skyrim number 10 always hotkey your favorites hotkeying your favorites is a simple thing to do by just using your d-pad on the favorites menu on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 or simply numbering them 1 to 8 on the PC at number 9 Always go for standing stones such as the steed stone as it increases carrying capacity and the lover stone as it increases all skill gains by 15%. Number 8. Daggers are the only true silent weapon in the game. One of the best daggers in the game to use is Mayrune's Razor because it gives you a chance of a one hit kill. So it's incredibly fun to just sneak around and get that 15 times damage and the one hit kill on people. At number 7. Waiting fully restores all bars such as stamina, magicka, and health. There's no need for potions anymore. Number 6. Get the Necromage perk in the Restoration Tree. What the Necromage perk does is make your every spell that you use effective against the undead. At number 5. Shops regain gold and restock items every 48 hours, which can be waited through. This makes buying and selling items extremely easy. Number four, read a lot of law books. All over the game you'll find many books, many of which are enjoyable to read, and if you're not really interested in the background law, read them anyway, because they can give you an extra skill bonus, which will increase your levelling up. Thus meaning when you go back to that dragon on the random road on the way to Falkreath, you can just take it out much more faster and feel like much more of a badass, simply because you've read a book. At number 3, we have using even the weakest of ward spells, Dragon's Breath can be completely blocked preventing all damage no matter what it's using. Number 2, instead of making potions, make venison stew. The requirements for it is venison, salt pile, potato and leek. Salt pile, potatoes and leeks are the most common items that you'll find in Elder Scrolls game and you can be able to find them in any single kitchen around the world. And the number 1 tip. If you're diseased and don't have a cure disease potion, grab a bow and look to the skies. Hawks can be shot down, giving you hawk feathers which have disease curing properties. And that's all for now. Check out Dagora TV's channel in the description below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.